So recently I was traveling and I was at one of those very big, like ginormous hotels attached to a convention center. And it had several towers of the hotel with several floors, which meant we had to take the elevator a lot. I usually like to take stairs as long as it looks like a safe stairwell, but this was pretty high up and we had to move about pretty quickly. So I was taking the elevator and I don't mind taking elevators normally, but this particular morning I had gone down to the lobby and was heading back up. It was fairly early, so there weren't a lot of people and the elevator froze. We were stuck on the elevator. And at first we pushed the help button, nothing happened. And I could feel some panic rise up in me, which is not a typical response that I have, but every day is different with our nervous system. I was in a different place and that didn't work. And then I saw a button for the um, fire department, which you know we were discussing. There were only five of us on this elevator, which turned out to be a good thing. I'll talk about that in a moment. But we discussed, you know, should we push that? And then this guy looked down and there was a little box. And so there was a phone to actually call and we called and reported the elevator was stuck. They seemed pretty nonplussed by this and that was kind of annoying to me. They're like, okay, thanks. No report as to what was going on, which I, I think I should give feedback to the hotel. They should have told us what they were doing, what they were sending, especially because there was a little girl in there and I think that would have been helpful for her to know that help was coming. But my sensations, again, took me by surprise. I felt sweaty instantly and I realized that there wasn't a very much, if any, air conditioning on the elevator. Thankfully, there were only five of us and I had seen the elevators were pre pretty packed on other days, so that was a gift to not have a ton of us because it also didn't feel like there was air conditioning pumping into that uh, elevator. And so we're on this elevator and I felt immediately hot. I felt a bit nauseous. I felt panicked. I knew that that was my vagus nerve kicking in. So I just gently kind of brushed down my midline supporting the vagus nerve. The vagus nerve is a very long, it's actually the longest cranial nerve. The, we, the, we call it the wandering nerve. Those of us that love to study those kinds of things. And it's definitely something that can get triggered in moments of discomfort and moments of stress. So I knew that that was a vagus nerve sensation or several sensations, feeling hot, feeling nauseous, feeling a little dizzy, feeling panicked. So I just went down that midline supporting that. I also knew that I felt fear, especially because we weren't given any information as to what was happening. So I went to the first spot of the fear paralysis tapping for the fear paralysis reflex and I just pressed down into that spot. I didn't go into the tapping. If we had been stuck for longer, I probably would have been like, okay, I'm just going to go ahead and do anything I need to, even if it looks weird and do that. But I just pressed that spot knowing that I had done the fear paralysis sequence recently and my nervous system would know what I was doing. I was acknowledging and supporting the fear. And I noticed this little girl who was eight or nine ish. She started crying pretty soon into the experience. And I totally understand that. And my mom heart really lit up. And so I had an opportunity to try and engage her. And, you know, I felt my compassion really coming online. It distracted me from my own sensation because I wanted to really support her. And I was trying to be silly a bit and saying how, isn't it strange this elevator doesn't have any elevator music? Maybe we should create our own elevator music. And I started humming so that maybe she would engage with me. And I think she just, it kind of helped to distract her a little bit. She's probably thinking, well, this lady's crazy. That's worse than a stuck elevator. But humming helps on so many levels. It helps the nervous system. It's a tool that can really tone and relax the vagus nerve. It's also really important for all the brain gym exercises. We use vocalizations quite a bit in that work. So I just started the humming and I know it helped soothe me. And again, I don't know what it did for the little girl other than help her go, this lady's really crazy. Uh, as I said, I acknowledge the fear with a fear paralysis spot. If you want to learn the tapping for that, you can get that in my inner peace free gift, which is at inspiredwell.com forward slash inner peace. And then I also um, found that, you know, I continued the humming, I continued acknowledging, I continued going down the midline. And 
I also, once we got off, it was about 15 ish minutes before it started moving again, no communication. They didn't tell us you're going to be moving here soon in a few minutes. So that felt really unsettling. And I still feel like I should give some feedback to the hotel about that. But once it started moving, I got off and I just felt a little bit shaky, unsettled. So I went through the pace sequence and I spent extra time on the cross crawl, which really integrates right and left side of the brain. So I could feel integrated and grounded. And I also did the earth buttons and that's two fingers at the chin, one at the belly button. I recently shared that for when I was flying at the airport, but I just gave myself some space. I honored that I felt unsettled, a little bit discombobulated. And again, I moved through pace. I did some cross crawling. I did the earth buttons after I got off and just noticed that I was so grateful that it didn't last longer. And I'm so grateful that I have tools to support me when things like that come up that dysregulate us. I'm curious, have you ever been stuck on an elevator? How long did it last? I can't imagine it lasting an hour or longer. That would be horrible. I hope that you don't get stuck on an elevator, but if you do, now you have tools to support you.